Welcome to the C46-N series programming module. Required equipment. You'll need a programmer, part number A3-06-2824. A programming cable, part number 611-0111. And a C46-N series ELT or PA for programming. Before we begin, you will come across the following terms. 24-bit address, which can be broken down further into octal address and hex address. Cost pass SARSET number, or TAC, and aircraft operator. Let's detail what these are and their correct use. ICAO 24-bit address and aircraft operator. ICAO 24-bit address. All aircraft equipped with a Modash transponder is issued an ICAO 24-bit address code. This can be either in octal address or hex address. They are one and the same, but displayed differently. Meaning, if you have a hex address, you can convert it to an octal address and vice versa. Octal address, eight digits, numeric only, consisting of zero through sevens. Hex address, six digits, alphanumeric, zero through nine, and A through F. Aircraft operator. The aircraft operator is a three digit code issued to the airlines. This option is only to be used if a customer requests it and can provide the three-digit code and a four-digit serial number. This is not to be confused with the ELT serial number. Cost Pass SARSET number or TAC. Every model of ELT is issued a Cost Pass SARSET number. This is also known as a type approval certificate. However, each TAC number has a limited amount of serial numbers permissible. Once that limit is reached, an additional TAC number must be issued. This can be identified on the ELT by viewing the serial number. You will see that the serial number is either 5 digits or 8 digits with a dash in the middle. If your ELT has 5 digits, the TAC number is 135. If your ELT serial number is 8 digits, the TAC number will be 3 digits before the dash. Currently, the additional TAC number for the C46-N is 252. For more information, please visit the CostPass Sarsat website. Programming the C46-N series ELT. From the home screen, select the following. Artex, Program, ELT 9600 BOD. Select a protocol from the list. The C46-N ELT can utilize ARINC 429 for position data. Select protocols with L for ELTs using ARINC 429 data. Use S if no position data is being used. Note, serial user, aircraft 24-bit address, national short is obsolete and should not be used. Programming the C46-N Programming Adapter, or PA. From the home screen, select the following. Artex, Program, PA 9600 BOD. The Artex Programming Adapter, or PA, is an optional accessory that will automatically reprogram a C46-N when installed on the aircraft. Note, only the protocols with an arrow may be used with the PA. The procedure for programming PAs is the same as an ELT, except for PA 9600 BOD. Aviation user, tail number short. Tap here to select a country. Countries are in alphabetical order. Tap to select and you will be returned to the programming screen. Tap here to input the tail number. A blinking vertical cursor will appear. Open the keyboard by selecting either ABC or 123. Alternate between letters and numbers using ABC or 123. Select Done when complete. Tap Enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap Program. This screen will appear if successful. Serial User Aircraft 24 bit address short. Tap here to select between octal and hex. Octal address is 8 digits numbered 0 through 7, and hex address is 6 digits alphanumeric 0 through 9 and A through F. Input the octal slash hex address using the keyboard. Cost pass RSET number. Input the 3 digit TAC number using the keyboard. Additional ELT, if the aircraft is equipped with one ELT, this number will remain at 0. If the aircraft has additional ELTs, such as in life rafts, this number can go between 1 and 3. 
Tap Enter, and the 15-digit hex ID will appear. Tap Program. This screen will appear if successful. User, ELT, cost pass short. Tap to select the country code. Insert the five digit serial number using the keyboard. Insert cost pass starts a number using keyboard. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. This screen will appear if successful. Serial user, aircraft operator short. Tap to select a country code. Insert three digit operator number using keyboard. Insert four digit serial number provided by the customer using keyboard. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. This screen will appear if successful. Aviation user, tail number, location, long. Tap here to select a country. Countries are in alphabetical order. Tap to select and you will be returned to the programming screen. Tap here to input the tail number. A blinking vertical cursor will appear. Open the keyboard by selecting either ABC or 123. Alternate between letters and numbers using ABC or 123. Select Done when complete. Tap Enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap Program. This screen will appear if successful. Standard Location, Aircraft 24 bit address, Long. Tap here to select between Octal and Hex. Octal address is 8 digits, number 0 through 7, and hex address is 6 digits, alphanumeric, 0 through 9, and A through F. Input the octal slash hex address using the keyboard. Tap enter, and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. This screen will appear if successful. Standard location, ELT serial long. Tap to select a country code. Insert 5 digit serial number using keyboard. Insert cost pass star set number using keyboard. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. This screen will appear if successful. National location ELT serial long. This protocol is only available with customers with an aircraft fleet. This is not the serial number of the ELT, but a customer provided serial number ranging from 0001 through 262143. Tap to select the country code. Insert serial number using the keyboard. Tap enter and the 15 digit hex ID will appear. Tap program. This screen will appear if successful. Testing the ELT using SARCALC software. After successfully programming the ELT, Verify programming by using SARCALC. Select the following, SARCALC, and measure. On this screen, connect a BNC to BNC cable from the ELT directly to the programmer. No attenuator is required. Initiate a self-test by placing the ELT local switch to the on position for at least two seconds, but no more than 50 seconds. Then back to ARM. A report will be generated that will match the option you programmed. You may also access the same SARCALC software from the home screen. Once open, you will see Measure, which is the same as we just learned, Review, you can review the previous 100 tests, and Preferences, we can change the amount of tests stored, you will also be able to change between either Octal or Hex address to be displayed when testing 24-bit address. Thank you for watching.